on the south side, when you typically first learn to cook, you always get that one dish, that one dish you get right, that you want to keep doing. Even though you can't branch out into other dishes yet, you get that one dish, you season it very well. You chop things up very nice, and you get taught how to do it. We don't read recipes often. So when you're making that south side southern stew, you're right, I feel you. What's good, y'all? Your main man, Master Sir, here, leader of the Master Nights of the Round Table of Company One. Subscribe to the spin. And we are back with another Spy Family Part 2 review. Now, if my memory wasn't so trash, I would not have been tricked at the beginning of this episode. Honestly, yeah, I completely forgot that this episode was called Yours Kitchen. <laughs> so, so, with that being said, I would have easily took note of the cuts on her hand and what's going on with her trying to figure out how to cook. Because when I initially seen it, yes, it does kind of tend to be things like that with sharp objects and stuff that goes along with your being an assassin. But at the same time, that would be rather out of character for yours. Because besides the point where she used to come home and blood be on her and stuff like that, blood stains, blah, blah, blah. When does she mess up to the point where she's actually harmed? But that being said, the boxes didn't, didn't really click like that. However, when she walked out of work and started walking with that face, that ominous face, like I'm about to just mm, somebody. Yeah, the tension was there. You ever been in class one of those times they were showing you a difference between like, a soundtrack could do for a scene? Like there was a scary soundtrack in the background, but also a romantic backdrop in the background of the same scene, just completely changing the tone of how things were going? That's what it felt like when you was walking to Camilla's house, and then she just had that face completely open the door, they looked at each other, just like, mm-hmm. Mm, 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 bitch. They didn't realize that she crushed the tomatoes. Your strength is not for her own good. So yes, if you're like me and forgot the preview or didn't watch it, it was a very good setup to this episode. Also, with that being said, though, in hindsight, this is probably the most chill episode of Spy X Family ever. I'm not saying every episode of Spy Family gotta be freaking, you know, crazy. But, mm, this one was very laid back. Because you're learning to cook. Now, the whole thing where freaking Yuri had to show back up to just be a taste tester. Not only was that a bad idea, I gotta be real, kinda got a feel for the guy, cause the way he was eating it and throwing it up at the same time, his face was turning blue, and he was doing all that stuff just to please his sister. Never mind that one slight flashback we got, we realized that's how this man has to live his entire life so far. Until that fateful moment happened where he moved out the house and him and Yuri went to separate ways to live on their own, this is how he came up. And if it was as bad as Camilla, her husband, Lloyd, and Anya was, it just fell out on the floor for just a taste. Mmm. Damn, Yuri. Being too nice is an understatement at that point. Like, bro, come on. <laughs> you gotta at least be like, hey, sis, hey, sis, hey, sis, hey, sis. I ain't gonna say your food sucks. But I'm dying over here. If one of you became an assassin, let me stop. However, she did. Nail that one dish. She was happy as hell. Get back to the family. Mm. Now I wonder what Yor was actually not Yor. <laughs> I wonder what Lloyd was actually thinking though, because Lloyd he's staying out of Yor's business and he hasn't tried to you know dig deep into it. Even with how he does disguises, honestly, if he wanted to, it would take no problem with him whatsoever to figure out that she's an assassin. But he left it alone. But I do wonder what he was thinking when he seen Yor coming home late, refusing dinner. Cuts on her hand, going straight to her room. Hmm. What would you think if you was Lloyd Folger, aka Twilight? Where as a spy, everything is not what it seems, or you're out of the job. It's also weird because Anya tried to look at Bond's mind just to see what happened. She saw your crying. I mean, Anya, could you just read yours mind instead? Just be like, what? As far as the other half, right? Which is weird because Spy Family don't really do two halves episodes like that either. But, oh man, Scruffy Head. He fell in love with also, when it comes to that, it's actually kind of good just to see him back in the show. I'm not saying he's a character that I'd necessarily been missing or hurting to see over and over again. It's just that he has played a major role in the beginning. And one of the best episodes of Spy Family Part 1, where they had to you know, save the princess, heavily involved him. And stuff like that when he's around, kind of puts on the best TV. So this man needs more screen time. I said it. As far as him going to <laughs> happen to fall in love with a girl, trying to confess to her, take her on a date and stuff like that. The biggest part, the biggest takeaway from this is Lloyd. So we met about the bar. Lloyd actually has a friend. He, he treats him as a friend instead of just a client. As people are part of his work. Him and Lloyd's actually cool. That's not it. That disguise Lloyd put on when he looked like that woman in a couple of seconds. See, every time he put on disguise, it was never like it, 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 was, it was never like that. I'm looking at him. What? 
We talked about you always being unrealistic last week. Lloyd, 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 Lloyd you be taking that lesson, lesson from Tyler Perry or something? I'm, I said it. I said it. You think it's good titties. It was funny afterwards where Anya read his mind and just started patting him on his hand after he was trying to give his explanation. But that had to be the least moment in this entire show where it took Anya to read that man's mind and realize what was actually going on. I know Anya's a child, but everybody else, literally everybody else, Anya did. It, it was unnecessary. We, 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 we knew. I just hope it wasn't as bad as he made it sound. Talking about he got rejected hard. Talking about all based on his looks. You telling me this girl was roasting you when you asked her out? See, a bitch like that can never get far in life. Just a simple no would have been suffice. Or lie. I mean, you know, I got a boyfriend, you know, which things are kind of serious. Might get married in two days, you know what happened to your... But she made fun of your looks? Bitch. But yeah, man, the situation that Lloyd is in, when he actually was talking about last week, how... This is not a permanent family. This is just for the job and what's going to happen after everything is over. And when he was talking to homeboy Scruffyhead, yeah, I forgot the name, I admit it. When he was talking to him, he was talking about how he said how Lloyd was family, so had a wife and child. It's coming from him. He said that's just for his work. So, yeah, in hindsight, Lloyd going back to cheer up his friend, buy him drinks, stuff like that. Yeah, like I said. Or he does have that one friend that is legitimate. Yeah, they met at work, but their friends outside of work is real. Closest thing outside of him he got to that is Hamlet. Actually, I just remember, my bad, y'all. The highlight of this episode was the fact that when you was talking to homegirl, talking about some, if I can't cook, well, if Lloyd actually divorces me, she's going to be a get arrested again. <laughs> she do everything out. She, she just went straight to the end. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 I paused the thing. I was laughing when I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> she was just talking about if Lloyd divorces me she talked to his head I'm gonna be under arrest <laughs> damn but yeah that's it y'all I'm out you watch the video and comment on what you think like this video for me and I'll see y'all hit that spin move subscribe look like we're back to Anya next week if not Damien <laughs>